Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I wanted to share with you my recipe for succulent marinated grilled steak. Uh, I couldn't really come up with a better word for it because that's just what we call it, so I'm sticking with it. It's very simple and easy, and it is just absolutely delicious. You're going to need some fresh garlic and some green onions that I've just roughly chopped and I've given the garlic a nice smash, but it's unpeeled, but it's still whole. I've got some soy sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, some salt, free steak seasoning and a little bit of olive oil and the steaks of your choice. These are a New York strip, but you can use any steak that you want. Now let's get going. In a little bowl, I'm gonna mix together my soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce, along with a little bit of olive oil and my salt-free steak seasoning. Now make sure that your steak seasoning is salt-free because you have a lot of soy sauce there and that is going to be the salty component that's going to, um, that's going to, to season your steak. So all I'm doing is I'm taking a fork and I am just kind of pricking it all over because then that way the marinade can seep down in there. And now I'm going to take my marinade. And you can see I have this in a, I have the steaks fitted pretty nice and tight in a, in a shallow bowl here. And the reason why you want that is because you want the steaks to be pretty much covered in that marinade. If the bowl was too big, then the marinade would kind of run out everywhere and it wouldn't really, um, it wouldn't really sort of wrap around the steak. I'm also going to add in some of the, oh, all of the garlic and this, the uh, green onions, and I'm sticking the garlic underneath. And I'm not chopping the garlic because when I go to grill this, I don't want the garlic to burn, so I'm gonna fish the garlic out later. But I like to put the garlic underneath the steak so the steak is sitting on the garlic and giving it lots of flavor. Get out of there. And now I'm gonna wrap this with some plastic wrap and I'm gonna stick these into the fridge for several hours. I'm probably gonna leave them in there for a good three hours, but you can leave them for about a half hour and they should be good. So I'm gonna wash my hands, wrap this up, and then we'll get going on grilling them. My steaks were in the fridge for a few hours. Now I can immediately smell it, the garlic and the soy and the Worcestershire, just everything that we put on them. And you can see that the steaks have almost absorbed all the marinade because we kind of pricked them with a the fork a little bit. See that? That is gorgeous. Now, I've got my grill pan here. You can do these on the steaks, these steaks outside on your grill. That would be fabulous, but I'm gonna do these indoors so that I can show you what they look like. I have mine preheated between medium high, around medium high heat, not too, too high, not too, too low. You want a good sear, but you don't want these to burn and you don't want these to steam. Now, it totally depends on how much you like your steaks cooked how long these will take to cook. I like mine around medium, so I'm gonna say around three to four minutes on each side should be perfect. But again, it's totally up to you. If you like yours cooked well done, by all means, cook it all the way. If you like yours really underdone, then cook it for less. I'm gonna take the garlic and the um, scallions off. You can see it has just absorbed that marinade. And I'm just going to grill these babies for around three to four minutes per side or until they reach about medium temperature. My steak's grilled for exactly four minutes on each side. I've got a simple mixed green salad here with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some coarse salt and pepper, and I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon juice. But actually, I'm gonna go for this baby right here. I'm not even gonna worry about the presentation. I will take care of that when it's dinner time because for now, I kinda just wanna dive right in smells insanely good. I cooked mine a little bit more than medium. It's a little slightly pink in the middle, but it's not, you know, bloody. But it's gonna be delightful. So delicious. You can have everything kind of comes through. Nothing is overpowering. The steak is really juicy and delicious. I'm gonna cut another piece because I can't help myself. That's how good this is, look at that. That for me is perfectly cooked. You see that, it's still juicy and lovely but it's not sort of bloody and rare because I know that that can be kind of a turn off for a lot of people. Mm, 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 mm. It's such a simple, simple marinade but 
it goes a really long way and the longer it sits in the marinade, the better it gets. LaraMTheKitchen.com will have everything written for you. I hope that you have enjoyed spending time with me. Let me know what grilling, what grilling recipes you want to see coming up because with summertime around the corner, I want to make your dreams come true and bring you lots of awesome grilling recipes. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.